bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Alpha Wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha Wax. By the way, I thought I should give you a a, a, a better close up of of this, just in case you can't. Can you see? So super. Um, anyway, right. Uh, now, before we get on with uh, bag 14, we have a new goose to welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome uh, to Barbara Pilgrim. What a fabulous name. Barbara Pilgrim, uh, who has uh, goosed up. You get your Alpha White Gang member and your membership card and your, your voucher for Elbsec and your, and your badge and your badge. So well done. Uh, well done to you, Barbara uh, Pilgrim, and thank you very much for goosing up. It makes an enormous difference. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Barbara Pilgrim, Barbara Pilgrim. We welcome you into the Afawak gang. So without further ado, let's get out bag 14. <laughs> Right then, off we go on this spookiest of spooky days. Ooh, uh, ooh. Sorry, I shouldn't be doing that. You, uh, we, we all know who should be doing that. By the way, I don't think we've had this face. Have we had this face before? Have we? Have we had this face? Um, come on, little Sue. <laughs> yeah, well, very good. Very good. Yeah, I mean, you haven't got to me yet. Up the way, my big boys. Um, I, I, I don't think it's me for quite some time, but anyway, if, if because it's Halloween, if, if at any point you need me to do, then just, then just spark, spark, then just spark up the, the little Sue signal, please, uh, the, please press, 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 press the button that is appropriate for today, please. Well done, well done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good. Right, we have some ghoulie ghosts at last. Some ghoulie ghosts, ghoulie ghosts. Uh, right, off we go. Off we go uh, to the Google Eyes. Eric, he's got a duck of Fazio. They're both like watching Lego. Boom, boom, boom. And they like musicals. Oh, his name is Eric. Ba ba bum, ah, etc. Um, he says, "I wonder what this is we're making." By the way, look, we're we're going straight in with a gem. Hello, hello. Uh, he says, "I think it's time for you to simply write up Mr. Perry in the Book of Morons for Rick." Repeated offensive for uttering the build that shall not be named at least four days in a row. I think that should be his name four times in the book. Hashtag justice for Emma. <gasps> All right. All right. I, can, I agree with you. Uh, if uh, Mr. Devar, uh, Mr. Graham Triggs, the official referee, does not agree with me, uh, then let's, uh, I will take my punishment, but uh, I, I completely agree with you. So it's happening. Oh, hang on. This isn't even the right pen. Oh, no. I might be adjudicated upon. Let's have the pen of punishments, please. The pen of punishments. Pen of punishments. Pen of punishments. 31st of October 20. John Parry. John Parry. The time is... Uh, nine 
55, I'm late in here today, uh, repeated uh, mentioning of build that shall not be named. Thank you. Do your worst. Do your actual worst. Do your worst. Do your worst. You're, you're in, Perry. You're in. You're in. Do your worst. Do your worst. Do you do you do your worst. Um, we thought she was from Canada and then we didn't think she was from Canada and then it turned out she was from Canada. It's William B. I agree with Eric Oswell. It doesn't seem very fair when Emma gets written up for every little snitch and then this goes unpunished, eh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, when you look at this, mm, maybe on the next page we will find out about it. Yes, 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 we will. Right, it's going in. Um, it's going in here. I can get it in. Going in here. Okay, thank you. What? Where's my... There it is. Thank you. Lost my pointer momentarily. Ooh. Uh, this, this is the resonator. The resonator. In a failed attempt to harness the power of the Rigu Ruby. Now, where was the Rigu Ruby? Where was the Rigu Ruby? That's, that's, that must be the Rigu Ruby. There. So in an attempt to, to harness its power uh, with this device, he failed. He, fa he was trying to harness the power of that uh, with this. Von Baron accidentally summoned two friendly spirits, friendly spirits, uh, from beyond. Oh, well, they, 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 they must be the friendly spirits. Okay. All right. Okay, thank you. Ooh, I must say opened out now. That sort of looks vastly better, doesn't it? I think we're all cheering up a bit about this build. I, I'm, I'm, apart from Bev. Bev is ex excluded, but I think we are a little bit. Uh, now where are we up to? Here we go. Here we go. We're making two of these. Oh, well done, Emma, for noticing. Well done for noticing. Uh, Michael, uh, that is the best use of a light brick I've seen so far. To be fair, the only other one I've seen was in the Hagrid's Hat Buckbeak's Rescue Set. It's, it is brilliant. It's absolutely, I think it's so clever the way you see the, the pharaoh. Uh, it's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So I will agree. Uh, Neil says, isn't it just, it's a fantastic use of coloured light brick and double stacking of decorated glass panels, uh, one of which is full colour printed. Hashtag above and beyond. Uh, then Michael says, uh, Brian sounds like I feel. Oh, Michael. <laughs> yes, but we love you, Brian. We love you, Brian. <laughs> right, go on then. Off, off you go. Off you go. You're being fully supported over there. <laughs> He's just, he's, just, he's just a little bit unsure, that's all. Uh, if he needs it, a cattle from Impa will definitely help him. Oh, oh, oh. Imp, we love Impa. I love, that, I love that we've got a pet on the haunted table. Uh, it gives me great joy. Uh, Gillian B. Oh, big hand, little hand. Neil, uh, sorry Neil, I, I don't know that reference. Oh, you want a big hand, little hand, do you? Okay. Big hand, little hand. It's never, it's never not funny. It's never not funny. Uh, Mary, just Mary, a uh, thoroughly loving this build, by the way, made even more spooktacular. Oh, sorry, it's Mary, but it's Mary, thoroughly in loving this build, by the way, made even more spooktacular by the eyes from the Tweedle Twins poo vase peering in from the left. 
Oh, you can just see one eye. <laughs> the holy relic. The holy relic. I'm starting to get very excited about the next live and bricking, aren't you? I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a corker. And it's going to be a, a massive challenge as well, given that, that Noreen has has uh, decided, well, she suggested it and you all voted for it, that I've got to build the TARDIS live. <laughs> oh, God, help us all. <laughs> we might be here for days. I, I would suggest make sure you've got all the food you need uh, within reaching distance, uh, because if we get that, that done within an hour, uh, I will be absolutely astonished. So prepare yourself for, for a long haul at the next live and bricking. I'm just saying. Just saying. Right. But we've got all the, we're, do, we're doing quite well here. I think we'll be definitely doing another bag today. There's absolutely no way this is going to... By the way, we've got a brilliant half-time show today made by the Affawax. Uh, not just the Affawax, by the Gooses. The, the, they've all clubbed together and made a half-time show for Halloween. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, George, oh no, wait, I think you're on the next page, Jordan, because you, you, I remember pressing re read more. Yes, here we go. Jordan, 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 Jordan. He says, I've got a few ghost stories as I've been on a paranormal investigations and I've lived in haunted houses. What? <laughs> I think today, every time I press the screen, little Sue uh, will be coming in and <laughs> doing what she does best. <laughs> yeah, okay, little Sue. Back to Jordan. My own personal investigation was at 30 East Drive. It was the infamy of being the most haunted house in Europe. I made the mistake of going by myself. I had marbles thrown at me. What? 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 But that wasn't the creepy bit. I went into the bedroom. The door shut by itself. And I was locked in for about an hour. What? <laughs> um, 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 that's, uh, actually, that's too scary even for me, actually. It's too scary for me, little, little soup. <laughs> Cheapers, queepers. Um, another story happened last year. We had a walk-in wardrobe and I hid in it to give my mum a fright. In the end, I was the one who was scared, as something pulled my head and breathed down the back of my neck. What? That's really scary, I'm not. Yeah, I know it is. Tell me about it. Gillian uh, B just goes, no, no, no. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I think Gillian B speaks for all of us uh, there, uh, Jordan. It was safe to say I don't go around provoking spirits anymore. Um, Gillian B says, I think that's a very wise decision, eh? Very, very wise decision. Uh, uh, we're sticking now with uh, Gillian B. Oh, hang on. Hang on, let's get these on. We'll get these on because it's a long one from Gillian B. So we'll give that the 
attention it deserves. Uh, FYI, sorry there wasn't a Titanic build yesterday. I was doing prep for uh, the lovely Dame Dawn. Uh, it was on bookshelf live uh, last night. Thank you to those of you who popped in. Uh, she was brilliant, as always. We must give her. We must give her a fulsome round of applause. Fulsome, fulsome. Right. So that's going. Let me just get this right. That's going there. And that is. Can you see? No. Sorry. Sorry. Forgot to pan up. And that one's going there. Okay. Back down. Back down we come. And we're making another two of these. So, Gillian B. May I please request Little Sue's spooky ghost noise for this spookiest 31st day of October? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well done, well done, little sis. Thank, thank you. Uh, uh, Any time you, you need it today, I'm, I'm ready to do woo woos. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. By, by the way, I'm off. Yes? I've learned another French, some more French. Really? Though? Yes. Yes, I've definitely learned some more French. What is it? It's B. George Grasson. No, right, okay. Look. Uh, you can't just keep saying croissant and uh, you know a, a random food and then croissant that that's not that's not how this works it's not french it's got croissant in it that's the bottom that's not telling me beetroot croissant with absolute nonsense it's nonsense it's nonsense absolute nonsense right back to Gillian B she's got a lot to say here uh, I wish uh, the beeps were like the ones you made. Those are pleasant on the ears. One of the beeps on our biggest machine reminds me a little of the Harlem Shake. Sometimes, when there are multiple errors occurring, different beeps occur simultaneously and you can get a little dance on. Oh, oh. Is, if there's any chance of us seeing that, of you possibly filming that, Gillian uh, B. I'm, I'm, I would be very receptive. Uh, I would be very, very, very receptive to seeing a short film of you dancing in the lab to the beeping machines. I'll say no more. I'll say no more. The blood culture machine beeps will haunt you and you will hear them in your head when you aren't even at work, eh? The C. diff machine sounded like all hell was breaking loose when it errored, but it broke entirely and is no longer with us. Hopefully it will be back so we don't have to do the C. diff testing manually for much longer, eh? But since it isn't a COVID machine, I don't know how fast a replacement will come. Sorry for the novel <laughs> on the beeps from work. Hashtag justice for Emma. Well done. Well done. Well blinking done to you. Well blinking done to you. Um, Mary, uh, sorry, Neil says, I love little Sue's ghost effects too and hope a combination of her finest on this spooky eve uh, will take your mind well away from those ghastly beeps. Hashtag ghosts, not beeps. <laughs> Ghoulie ghosts. Ghoulie. The ghoulie ghosts. Ghoulie ghosts. C can, I, can I have a go at saying that, please? Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, goo goo, ghoulie ghosts. Goo goo, goo ghoulie goo, ghoulie ghosts. Ghoulie goo. Ooh, ghosts. Ooh, 
как Голи Are you just going to say it's got a croissant in it and, and so that makes it French? Yes, it's got a croissant in it. That's how this works. It's, it's got a croissant in it. And therefore, it's French. Thank you. Press the button again. Do you ever get the feeling that Little Sue is 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 the total boss of me? Do you, do you ever do you ever get that feeling? <laughs> do you? Do you ever get that feeling? Uh, Gillian B. Eh, Emma and Little Sue's conversations are always soothing after a dead work. Eh? Uh, you're very right, Mary. Hmm. 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 Oh, we've got a big we've got a big one coming. We've got a big one coming from Jim Byrne. Um, uh, Jim Byrne. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I think this might be a spooky tale. Um, Dublin, 1943. Oh, I already feel a... I already feel a... <laughs> coming on. <laughs> Dublin, 1943. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the nan, Kathleen O'Connor, nay Flanagan, had turned 22. She had a two-year-old daughter, Christine, my ma, and a baby son, Paddy, eight months. Oh, where's this going? Where's this going? Her husband, Patrick, had been in hospital for over two weeks with a particularly virulent form of tuberculosis. Oh my goodness. Flipping heck, that is a blinking heck. Tuberculosis, that's no, that's no laughing matter. Just before one o'clock every day, she would leave the shop floor of the Cadbury's chocolate factory to dash and visit him during lunch break. Oh, that's lovely. Also lovely to work in a chocolate factory. Just sidebar, sidebar, sidebar about that. Um, this particular day, the nan was in haste as she was desperate to check on her children first. They'd had temperatures when she'd left them uh, with her mother that morning at 4.30. It was a false alarm. Oh, thank goodness. They were grand, both right as rain. As she checked her hair in the mirror of the hallway stand before leaving, she heard the city clock strike one. Glancing back, she was startled to see Patrick's reflection smiling back at her. I love you, Kath, she heard him say before she felt herself collapse almost in slow motion at the shock onto the cold, tiled floor. Oh my God. Ooh, 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 it's, it's almost too scary to do the woos. Ooh. 
It's too scary, Emma. Please, please carry on reading. I'm actually too scared to do the woos. <sighs> Years later, she would tell us, with faraway eyes, how she had woke much later in her mother's bed, how her mother had gently told her, while gripping her hands so very tightly, that Patrick had passed away at the hospital. He'd faded with the clock striking one, and the nurse tending him had sent over the message that his last words had been, I love you, Kath. Oh, oh that's, that's actually broken me a bit. Oh, Jim, what a story. Good grief. Wow. Wowee. I totally believe it. Totally and utterly, mind you, my mind has entirely changed on all of this ever since the incident with the chi with the children's ghosts. <sighs> when I did Celebrity Haunted Hotel, oh, oh. it still gives me the heaps. Still gives me the total heaps. Um, sorry, just putting this up here. I think I've told you that story though, so if I haven't, I'll tell it tomorrow. Um, right, we're now making. Uh, four of these. So, over to the Twitterize. Twitterize, Twitterize, Twitter, Twitter, Twitterize, Twitter, Twitterize, Twitterize, Twitterize. Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Relax with Bricks. Oh no, it's an adjudication. Oh no. Oh, what now? Uh, adjudication, I can only offer suggestions from my own perspective, but I don't feel how a lady extends her own pointer is a matter for me to adjudicate on. In your face, Gary Blair. In your actual face. In your face. In your face, never-ending Boinger. In your face. Uh, there's Masson, the strawberry, no Uncle Strawberry, the moaning mini, the matara. The Lego Whisperer. He says, uh, the noise Knuckles makes uh, when she extends her pointer is surely only a matter for her and her good lady wife. Absolutely unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. Unacceptable. Um, now then, who's this? I mean, I think this is Gary Blair. He's now called the never-ending Boinger. Uh, Gary Blair, I think he's now called What I'm Already Undead. I think that's what he's calling himself. Anyway, never ending boing. Gary Blair, Gary Blair, Gary Blair, never ending boing. Gary Blair, Gary Blair, Gary Blair. He says, uh, I have a scary story, but ghost, not ghost is, but very, very true. A fine fireside thriller. It goes thus. Oh, br brace yourselves. J just brace. When I lived in Cardiff, a close chum of mine had a ground floor bedsit at the back of one of the large grand houses on Cathedral Road. One day we met up for a bun and some pop and looked shooken to the car. The night before, probably in the early morning hours, he woke up and sat bolt upright. Didn't know why, but his heart was pounding. Oh, where's this, where's this going? Where's this going? I'm, I'm, I'm on tenterhooks. I'm on tenterhooks. As he sat there trying to calm his troubled pulse, he noticed that one of his sash windows was wide open. That's odd, he thought to himself. Why would I leave a window open on a chilly night? Now, to one side of the open window was a large dining table that he used for arting. Arting. I said arting. Arting. I said arting. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we got you. said arting. Not farting. He said arting. One of those with bare barley twist legs and leaves that pull out, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I know the ones you mean. In the near pitch darkness under the table, 
he became aware of a glove that had fallen on the floor. Hang on, I'm put I'm putting these in, I'm putting these in, and then we're returning to this to this extraordinary tale that has got us all on the edge of our seats. Hang on, hang on please. Hang on please. Hang on please. Oh, I've just knocked everything over over there, sorry. That's going on there. Right. Right, hang on. I've just knocked the pumpkin over. Hang on, Gary Blair. Hang on, Gary Blair. Hang on. Hang on, Gary Blair. Turning the page. Hang on, Gary Blair. Um, so the glove has fallen on the floor, OK? Thought bubble. A glove under the table? How did... How, how did... How did... Dot, dot, dot. How did a dot, dot, dot? Just then, in the near pitch black, a glove slowly, very, very slowly slid back into the deeper shadows. What? What? It actually moved in front of his eyes. Sorry. What? What? Is your heart pounding? Has your blood chilled? Yes, yes and yes. Imagine how my chum felt as he sat there in his bed in the near pitch black with an autumn breeze rustling his art. I said art, art. Oh, I definitely said art. Art. I didn't say anything else. I said art. Oh, are, you, are you just getting me to say he said art, so you can just finish up the top of that. I don't know what you're talking about, Gary Blair. We've still got to get to the end of your story, remember? Right. He sat, rooted to the spot, as the glove reappeared on the floor, followed by a second glove, then above the gloves a shadowy head, shadows, arms, torso and legs, slowly and utterly silently. The shadow unfolded to become a man standing, staring at my chum. <laughs> Slowly and horrifyingly silently, the shadowy figure crossed the room, passing the foot of the bed, went to the front door, slowly turned the latch, making almost no noise opened the door and left, quietly closing the door behind him. Sleep well. What? <laughs> I can't even believe it. Anyway, on that bombshell, on that bombshell, we now have, uh, thanks to the Affawack Gooses, the halftime show.
that was uh, fabulous and a round of applause uh, to all of you who are uh, who contributed to that that's absolutely fabulous absolutely brilliant well done everybody i absolutely adored that animation didn't you very clever very very clever um and the brilliant rosie lee will have done all the music she's absolutely fabulous in this regard um anyway so well done well done i i'm thoroughly encouraging of things like this uh as i keep saying you know if anybody is out there watching and fancies doing an animation it's they're very easy to do actually there's if you if you've got a an iphone um i think you can get it on other things that that aren't iphones but i use it on the iphone um there's uh, an app called stop frame animation and you just use that and you just you know and it's really easy super easy to use um, and I thoroughly recommend it and you never know you might turn out to be brilliant at it because I'm not <laughs> you just enjoy yourself you just show willing I don't I, it, most of them only take a, a, a couple of hours really but my advice is work, work out your shots and then and then it's just all about setting them up and then off you go you can do animations I bet Bevis would do a brilliant one come on Bevis you were doing a phenomenal one. Anyway, talking of Bevis, uh, here he is. Uh, he says, I suspect yesterday's disapproval of the roof will get lost in the dreadful Twitter threading. I don't think it was. I think we we, we gave the, the roof a fulsome thumbs down and, and we still do. It's, it's horrible. The inside, the outside, it looks fine, but the inside is absolutely revolting. I'm 100% with you on this. 100 percent it's 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 the big it's the big no 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 factor although the interior is looking is looking rather good but I, I slightly wish the back of these doors were a bit were a bit better um but the inside's looking good now at least uh but let me uh, he says but but let me just say right off the bat no pun intended that i hate this roof the angled bit with all the plates inside holding it together is hideous yeah I don't think anyone's going to disagree with you. Well, maybe some people might disagree. But I'm completely in agreement with you on that. Uh, then he says, I don't think that is a light between the Skellington uh, candle holders. He refers to this, of course. Uh, this in the, the, the evil altar. Uh, I think it's a chalice, he says. Oh, crumbs. A chalice, you say. <laughs> Evil chalice. Bevis then says, a, a third twin butler. I think the word Lego are looking for there is triplet. Yes, I did think that. And uh, I almost said it out loud yesterday. And then I thought, no, don't be rude about Lego. <laughs> but you're right. You are correct. There's no such thing as a third twin. It's called a triplet. A triplet. He says, honestly, I don't blame you for not being able to talk and work out those roof pieces because they are really, really poor engineering by uh, Lego standards. Yep. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Uh, he says, I'm not hating this set, but I think my expectations were very high and it's falling quite short of that. Well, for me, it has pulled back. This is exceptional. The light, the, 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 the light brick thing is exceptional. And remember, we've still got the main event uh, to happen, uh, which I'm hoping is going to be sensational. I mean, let's but well, mm, let's not get our hopes up. Uh, he says it feels like there's so much they could have done, but the fact they haven't makes it feel a, a bit lackluster. He he's quite negative on this. Uh, quite apart from the ugly internal roof design, I feel like they've missed a trick doing some nice tiling on the external side as well. Well, yes, no disagreement on me about that. There's been a distinct lack of tiling, which I find it upsetting at the very least. Then he says you can't blame Mr. The VAR for giving you adjudications when you keep asking Mr. The VAR for adjudications. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not complaining about Mr. The VAR giving adjudications i'm bracing myself for them that's that's what i'm doing bevis there's no complaining about adjudications it's bracing 
brace, brace, brace. Uh, then he says, driven mad by Pharaoh Hotep's terrible jokes. He's quoting uh, the Lego book. So I was right when I said the obelisk of evil, said Zomblair, was here. Uh, is, it, it's not a surprise that Gary Zomblair is an anagram of Pharaoh Hotep, give or take a few letters. Oh, you absolute wag. Look, you've made me do a mistake. You made me do it. It wasn't me just doing it. You made me do it, Bevis. <laughs> Bevis mustn't. Grr, nash, nash, nash. Uh, John uh, uh, Pe Perry. Uh, John Perry. John Perry. Oh, sorry, sorry, look, I just, I just did that. That just went on there. Sorry, we're going to have a lot of panning down and panning up now. Um, a, a lot of a disrespect of the vase uh, or authority are going on at the uh, at, at, at the moment. Uh, ever in this video, uh, Neil and uh, Eric was born yesterday. A tat 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 tat. Uh, they may have also. A bit of Mr. Judication, but I'm not a snitch, uh, so I won't uh, mention it. Mm. Really? I don't think there was a Mr. Judication. Oh no, was there a Mr. Judication? I shall be in trouble if I missed an adjudication. <sighs> Those uh, roofs would look better if all the parts uh, were in black. Yes, I completely agree with you. I mean, look at the ugly. The ugliness, the ugliness of this, the ugliness of it. Uh, the irony is that they do it with different colours to make it easier for people uh, with spatial awareness issues. Uh, there are then follow a lot of gifts uh, from the never ending Boinger. Um, Professor Legal, Professor Legal, Professor Legal, Professor Legal, Professor Legal. Uh, he says, I believe this is the second time you have come across the mini rapier with not three two shaft, but it is understandable that you don't remember, and the why shall become clear. Let us just say, a certain Mr. Perry would have no trouble saying the title of the set. It was Anne. <laughs> Thank you, little Sue. Uh, my, my pleasure. I think he, he means that they, they... No, don't say it. Don't say it, little Sue. Yeah, okay, I, I, won't, I won't say it because it is the build that must not be named. Emma? Yes? I've got, an, I've got another French word. Oh, no. What is it? It's fish, fish, fish crystal. Well, number one, uh, that's not, uh, I mean, I don't know how many times I have to keep saying this to you, little Sue. Uh, fish is not the French for fish. Uh, poisson is the French for fish. Uh, so it would be poisson, poisson. Oh, no. Po po poisson, poisson, Emma. Uh, I mean, really, it's po poisson, poisson. Do you think I'm fluent in French now that I can say poisson, poisson? Oh, hello. Welcome to my cafe. Uh, bon, bon, bonjour. Oh, today's special is po poisson, poisson. Would you, would you like one? It's poisson, poisson. What have I done? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Hello. Bonjour, bonjour to you. Bonjour. Please have a plate of poisson, poisson. Bonjour. 
Poison. Poison, press the button ammo. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? The uh, job is, um, uh, was it uh, the, the poo house? No, it wasn't the poo house, John Perry, as well, you know. Uh, Neil says, I think the set, uh, uh, Tobermory Jake uh, actually called Mike. He got the wrong email. Is referring to uh, John Parry is the the Grander Emporium and specifically the Afawak uh, floor. I'm unsure of what else you may be referring to, as I don't recall the Grander Emporium even having a toilet. Uh, hashtag uh, Pink Ladies Pointer. Um. Gary Blair says, mm, have we ever seen Eric and Noreen in the same room at the same time? Eh? Have we? Have we? Eh? No, we haven't. Uh, scrub down, scrub down. Let's check this one. Oh, hang on. I think this is a ghost story. She says, when I was a student nurse at the old Leicester Royal Infirmary, I heard the tale the portrait of a deceased matron that was on the wall in the office of the ward where she had been sister. Oh no. Oh no. The tale was that she walked the corridor alongside the ward where she had been sister and entered the office to find her portrait. Of course none of us younger nurses believed such a ridiculous tale until oh no oh no until i was on night duty with one other colleague she went for first meal break and i walked the ward it was a nightingale ward a row of 16 beds along one side and 16 beds along the other it was quiet and dark with small patches of light cast by the occasional bedside light. <coughs> A patient called out and I drew the curtains around the bed to attend her. Once finished, I pulled back the curtains to see my colleague entering the office, assuming she had a completed her break. I went to the desk to collect my handbag so I could go for my break. I quietly said, I'm off. I won't be long and walked in the opposite direction towards the ward exit where I promptly walked into my returning colleague. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, neither of us went into the office until daybreak. Uh, Ruth Hay says, oh, the good old days when there were only two of you uh, on duty at night. Uh, she says, I know, looking back, it was madness, but that's how it was, which is why I have a cro chronic back problem, she adds in. Oh, that's, that's given me the chills, Jackie Swan. The absolute chills. Uh, hang on, we're putting these on, I think. Oh, no, wait. Yes, yes. Yes, we are. Right, they're going on up here. That's going there. That's going there. All right, back down. Back down we go. Uh, Neil. The full effect of the Lego Brick of Light was a little lost due to one, the Lego Shed Lighting Array, a good work studio, and two, the ominous red glow. For the Afwax to see the full effect on the eve of Halloween, Lego Shed Lighting may need to be dimmed a little. All right, we'll do it again with Lego Lighting Off. Right, here we go, Lighting Off. Oh, this is going to be good. Oh, this is going to be good. Lego Lighting Off. Oh! <gasps> Oh, 
that is good. That is good. Thank you for uh, thank you for suggesting that. Thank you. That's made that made a big difference. Thank you. That was super. That was absolutely super. Um, Bevis then says, "You mean knuckles needs to be in the dark when it comes to making Lego work properly? Not for the first time." <laughs> Where are you order? Uh, Tanya now says, uh, so not a ghost story and nothing awful happened, but the most freaky thing, the most freaky thing, I mean, this is already worrying me, the most freaky thing is being a young uh, student nurse on first night shifts in old hospital and being asked to go with a porter in an old ambulance to take a body to a morgue. Flipping. Terrifying. Oh, finally we get to her. Little Sue. And she's called Little Sue. She's little and she's called Sue. It's Little Sue. Hello, Emma. It's me, Little, little, little Sue. Hello, Little Sue. I, d I told you, didn't I, that it was going to, to take to, to, quite the while to get to, to get to me today. Yes. Poisson, croissant. Oh no. Not poisson, croissant, please. Just get on with it. What do you want to say? Well, I, w I wanted to say actually that um, I, I think it, it's a shame that there aren't more pumpkins in this set. Uh, that, that one in the garden looks quite lonely out there on its own. I mean, there's literally only one pumpkin, am I? It's supposed to be a haunted house for Halloween, don't you? Surely there should be loads of pumpkins. That's what I think, anyway. Please, please, but press the button. Yes, I agree. It should be. It should be absolutely festooned with pumpkins. It should. There, sh there should be a surfeit of pumpkins. I utterly agree with you. Uh, Mike, uh, formerly known as Toby Mori J, he got the wrong email. Said uh, a full-on pumpkin patch is definitely needed. Uh, Ruth Hayes, not really a ghost story. Oh, here we go. As such, but at Bart's Hospital, these are all in hospitals where I trained and spent most of my career. There was a lift that was reputed to be haunted. <laughs> Apparently, many years ago a nurse hanged herself in it oh good grief being a rational kind of person i was never bothered about it until one day when i got stuck in it alone for about 20 minutes nothing happened but it's strange the tricks the mind plays on you sometimes i never set foot in that lift Again. At Tony now says uh, they always had those old lifts. We have to pull the metal gate closed before they would clank up and down too. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm now. Gary Blair put in a gif uh, yesterday. Uh, oh no. Come here, Felicia. Thank you. Could you just, could you get that for me? Oh, can you get that for, sorry, the tweedle, the tw the, oh no, the tweedle, the tweet, the tweedle blanket was caught in the end of that. It's all right though, don't worry. No harm has come to the twi to the tweedle blankie, which I adore. Um, Anyway, I I strongly urge you not to watch it because it fr it fritt the living bejesus out of me. I accidentally watched it uh, like an idiot because for some reason I forgot that Gary Blair is never to be trusted because he is the never-ending boy now. Anyway, um, Jackie Swan, she's joined in here. She says, what the heck and who is a third twin? Yeah, we, we you know, it's a toucan. It's a toucan, Lego. Quite surprised that Lego have done a toucan, but they have. They've done a toucan. Oh no! Wait, look. I just I just made an assumption there, and that assumption was wrong. It's it it it's this. Anyway, we're making two of these. Put that 
down. Oh, sorry, you didn't see me putting it in. There, look, it's gone in. Um, uh, Emma. Yes. I, d I do like those small see-through multicolored bricks in part of the roof. They remind me of the ones in, in the gingerbread house. Do you remember those, Emma? Yes, I do remember those. They, they were... They, they were very glit glittery. Do you remember, do you remember, Emma? Yes, I do. They're a really super little brick. Yes, a, a, a really, a really super little brick. Anyway, they, they remind me of those. I can't believe it's almost a year since, since you built that set. Green door. Green door. Do 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 be do be do be do behind the green door. Behind the green door. Green green door. Do 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 do. Press on, press on, press the button. Yes, that was the one where uh, I sang green door a lot because there was a green door. Yes, I remember now. I do remember. Now then, I might have to come up because this is very high, so bear with. Uh, Neil says, uh, yes, little Sue, I agree, and I think they also hark back a little to the brickier bank's gorgeous green and clear multicoloured uh, bricks. Hashtag knockoff. Uh, he says, excellent call from Mother Goose for the mini Mindstorm Robot robots to be given away to Jim Byrne uh, for the teaching causes. Yes, uh, I, I do. I've, I've got I've got I've got your address. Jim Byrne, I do believe. Um, but uh, let me know if there's somewhere else you want them to be sent. And then I'll make that happen. Oh, then. No, that's not right. It's not right, is it, Emma? No, it's, it's really not right. No, because these go here. They don't even remotely go there. I don't know what you're thinking of putting that there. It's like you're so, and, look, and you've put those wrong as well. Wow, it's, it's like you're having a breakdown. Shh, just be quiet. Honestly, honestly, crumbs. Now then, these go here like that. goes there. It goes there. Right, where are we up to? Uh, Neil, Afawak advice request. As most of you will know, light bricks come with a plastic tab to protect the batteries when they're not in use. Has anyone in the gang found a supplier of spares or alternatives to use when the original plastic tab has become lost? Hashtag help, thank you, please. Uh, Professor Lager, you can remove the battery. I believe a single Philip screw secures the case. Uh, says, thank you, Professor. I hope to replace a tab with something rather than remove the batteries themselves. But that's a very good suggestion and is greatly appreciated. Hashtag Afawak uh, helped. Uh, hopefully somebody can suggest something more in tune. Uh, where do you help that? Uh, Jordan just goes, ooh, that light brick. Yes, ooh, that light brick. Uh, Jim Byrne says, yes, please, the mini Mindstorm sets. All hands go up. Our students are in year group bubbles. So equipment never use that word for Lego has to be separate. Uh, this really, really helps. It will be so appreciated. Thanks a million, billion, trillion, zillion. Well, that sorts that out then. And that concludes Pegasus. That concludes it. Uh, so let's finish this bag up, shall we? Voila. Voila. I don't mind telling you, I've slightly spooked myself with all the, the, the spooking stories in here. I've slightly spooked myself. I'm spooked up. Voila. Right. Now we're doing four of these little things and then we're done for the day. So... Going there. Listen to that wind howling. That 
goes there. That's there. And that's there. And that's it. Right, that's that. Yes, so... Um, so that's where we're up to, and guess what? We're going. It, uh, it, we're going up again tomorrow. So uh, this is obviously going to be quite high. Uh, but come back for that and enjoy your Halloween. Ooh, <laughs> 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 forever. See you tomorrow. <laughs>